So I'm going to show you how to make a really quick graph, a nice easy calibration curve. So we have uh, concentration and absorbance data. Uh, so in this in this lab, we're pulling data from um, our dilutions lab that you're going to do later on. Or if you're in Chem 2, you already did it in Chem 1. And we have a whole bunch of concentrations, and we measured the absorbance. And then what we'll do is we'll plot this graph. Uh, I'll, we'll give you some other concentrations. Uh, we'll give you absorbance data, for, and then you're going to find the concentration. So let's copy this into uh, Excel. So again, just select it, right-click, copy, go over to Excel. And I'm going to click now on a new sheet right click and paste that in there. So what I did over here was this is from part A. I just double clicked um, on this sheet. Down, it said sheet one before and I just changed it to part A. You can do the same thing down here. Double click and write part B. That's fine. And there's my data. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is make this graph. I'm going to highlight it and I'm gonna go over to insert, click on that and then find these charts. Uh, just I just right clicked on that and now I have my XY scatter graph there. Great, so that's my scatter plot. Um, I'm gonna double check that I have everything in the right place. I want concentration to be on the x-axis, that's the x-axis, the horizontal axis, because that is the independent variable. So I'm, I made different solutions, I know exactly what those concentrations are, and then now I am, I'm sorry, that's, yes, that's my independent variable there. It's independent of, um, that's what we're doing. The dependent variable depends on the independent variable. So I'm measuring the absorbance. The absorbance depends on the concentration. So the absorbance is going to go on the y-axis and um, the concentration is going to go on the x-axis. So I can see when I have a concentration of 1, um, the absorbance is, is of 0.75. So it'd be really easy, uh, much easier, if we put some labels on here. So all I did was select this graph. So I just right-clicked on the graph to select it. And then I have this plus sign here. And I'm going to click off. I want to do titles. Um, and my chart title was already highlighted for me, so, so that's good. But I want to add these axes titles here. Great. So after I click on that, I'm going to go back to um, my graph. And if I double click on this, delete these, right? I'm going to call this guy. So that's going to be my absorbance. All right. Okay. And then down here, click on that. Just right clicked on that. Sorry. Left clicking. I left click on that. Same thing, absorbance. Uh, this one is concentration. Molar. Great. Uh, what else do I want to do? Change the title. I can change this title. This is a calibration curve. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call that calibration curve. Great. And now, um, so I have I added my titles. I added my axis titles. And I added the chart title. If I want to add the trend line, the next thing what I want to do is find an equation for the line, this line here. This is a linear equation. This looks like a straight line. I'm going to go to add a trend line. So if I, when I click that, I can see that dotted line appears. And if I click on this arrow over here, um, I know that that's, that's linear. That's our default. If I go to more options, that's going to help me. It's going to let me um, display the equation on the chart, which I'm going to need for the next part. So if I go down here to display equation on the chart, there we go. That's my equation. Great. Now, if you're looking at this and it's um, you have different different absorbance values here, I'm going to change these up every semester. So um, these may not match what's in your lab. Use the numbers that are in your lab, not these ones. Use the numbers that are in your lab. So this is my um, equation for my line. This is the slope. 0.748, and this is our intercept, 0 0.0035. So what we want to do now, um, we can record that, and we want to use this in um, the next step of the lab. Next step, we're going to be given concentrations. I'm sorry, we're going to be given absorbance data, and we're going to calculate the concentration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some absorbance. So suppose the absorbance uh, was, was found to be, was measured to be 0.5. I can figure out what the concentration is based on this graph. So I would go 0.5, draw a line over, drop it down over here, and it's going to be somewhere between you know, 0.6 and 0.8. But I don't want to just approximate. I want to read off the graph. I can use the equation of this line. This line is showing me that you know, y equals mx plus b. Okay, well, y in this case is absorbance. And... Um, our slope is equal to some constant, uh, and this is our, uh, our intercept over here. So x is the concentration. So I have absorbance versus concentration, and I can measure that slope. 
Okay, so now I'm going to use that equation and I'm going to show you how to solve for um, an unknown concentration, given an absorbance. So the equation that I had was y equals um, mx plus b, right? That's a linear equation where y is equal to the absorbance in this case. Um, m is our slope, it's our rise over run. x is our concentration, and b is the intercept. Okay, so the equation that we got from the other um, in Excel was y equals 0 0.748, right, x plus 0 0.0035. I will show you how to do this in Excel as well, but this I'm, I, wanted, I wanted to relate this by hand first. So in the lab, they give you a bunch of different absorbance values. So suppose the absorbance in this one was like 0.65. Okay, that's my A, right, that's my Y. And what I want to do is solve for the concentration. So basically, they're going to give you the A, um, you know the slope from the, from the line, you know the equation from the line, and then you're going to solve for the concentration. So my absorbance here is 0 0.65, and that's equal to 0.748x. X is our concentration, that's what I'm looking for, and 0 0.0035. So I'm just going to subtract my 0 0.0035, subtract 0 0.0035, and I get 0 0.7. 4, 8 is equal to x, and what? 0 0.6465. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 0.748. And I get x, which is my concentration, is equal to 0 0.86432. Three something this is going to be in molar and I'm just going to go with um, two sig figs because that's what I had that's what I was given with my absorbance great so that's how I can solve for an unknown and we can go back to Excel and make sure <laughs> that that makes sense on our graph so if we go back okay so back to our graph here so the absorbance that I found was 0.65 so that's somewhere in between that 0.7 and 0.6 about halfway and then if I drop that down there Sure, is that about 0.865? Yeah, I bet that does work. So if you wanted to not do all this by hand, but if you had um, absorbance, suppose they gave us an absorbance, what I used 0.65 in the past, you can uh, rearrange this equation, right? So you have y equals mx plus b. I can take y minus the intercept and then divide by the slope, and that would be the equation that I use. So I would have to find my intercept here and slope, which you can do. You can either type it in there if you want to and say the intercept was 0 0.0035, the slope is equal to, or you can you can do equals uh, intercept like that, right, equals intercept. Ah. And then known y's, known x's. So our y is our uh, absorbance and our x's are that. So we just follow the prompts there that they give you. Oh, and then we can show more, more decimal places there if I wanted to. And then this slope, do the same thing, equals slope, and then I put a um, parentheses there, known y's, comma, and I'm just dragging those and copying those x's. Great, and that's our slope. So if we wanted to find the um, concentration, of, a, of something that has this, this absorbance, this is our absorbance. And again, you're gonna be given like three um, absorbances, you're gonna find three different concentrations. I'm gonna show you how to do it for one. So um, absorbance is Y. So I'm gonna do Y, right, absorbance, minus the intercept, all right? Um, I need to put parentheses around that because then I'm gonna divide by the, uh, by the slope. And I should get exactly what I got doing it the other way. So, right, you can do the whole thing in Excel. You can do um, that part out by hand if you're trying to work out what the equations are. And then if you had more of these absorbances, um, I could just make some up here. I don't know, 0.35 and um, 0.22, something like that. These are going to be um, the same. Just saying reference that instead of freezing the frame. Freezing Excel. Okay, so those are the same. And then my concentration, though, I want those to, um, to that. So 
all I did was I clicked on that one and then I want to copy those cells, right? So I drag it over. Um, and so here I have the same thing before. I had C8 minus, so I have the absorbance minus my intercept divided by the slope. That should be the same. And then you can check these, right? So if I had an absorbance of 0.35 and I draw a line over, what does that correspond to on the concentration scale? Uh, yep, a little bit over, so 4.6. 4 if I had 0.22, 0.22 is going to be down here. Draw a line over, I can find the concentration. Um, yeah, that's probably around, almost around 0.3. So it's kind of in the middle there.